you know, it's nothing to do. Well, what do you think that time? That's the moral theory. It's obvious at the moment that you're looking for dinner. Church, we don't need the Pope telling us what we may or may not believe. The Pope is the great whore of Babylon. There you are, boys. Fight papist superstition. Beware the seven deadly sins. The Catholic Church will lead you away from the path of salvation down into the very depths of hell. Cardinal Colin has issued a pastoral letter to be read at all masses in the parishes of Dublin today. This letter is in regard to the proselytizing of our Dublin streets by so-called evangelists. Unscrupulous people trying to lure the good Catholics of Dublin away from the true faith. My dear brethren, posterity will with difficulty believe the great things achieved in the first half of the 19th century in the areas of religion and education by the people of Ireland. A people scarcely emerging from persecution. Education, charity, the Bible are now inscribed upon the banners of those who in past days delighted in persecution and in blood. Under these false colours, assumed for the purpose of deception a system of pecuniary proselytism, having for its object to make converts by bribes and gold, has been established by the many bigoted and fanatical haters of Catholicity, and an active and insidious war is carried on against our ancient and venerable Church. 
Many agents of the proselytizing societies are poor, ignorant men who undertake to insult and decry our religion for 10 or 15 shillings a week. They take advantage of the poverty caused by the famines of the previous decade, of the evictions that have filled Dublin with misery and want, thousands of victims of want or oppression crowding our streets. Bigotry and fanatism have determined to traffic on their misery. On the other hand, the Christian Brothers, where a good education prevails, the work commenced by parents is continued in the school. And children are taught not merely the rudiments of secular knowledge, but also the duties which as Catholics they are obliged to perform. They teach their pupils to be good Christians and sincere Catholics. Children trained in this way will be useful members of society and at the same time will secure the salvation of their souls. Therefore, I implore you to send your children to your local Christian Brothers School. Yours in Christ, Cardinal Cullen, this 30th day of April, 1867. My dear people, as you know, our local Christian Brothers School is on the North Richmond Road. These are my two sons, Patrick, 10, and Thomas, 11. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Good morning. Good morning, brother. I'm Mrs. Dillon. These are my two sons, Thomas, age 12, well. Brian, age 10. Thank you. Good morning, brother. I'm Elizabeth Talbot, and these are my three sons. This is John, he's 12. Matt is 11, that's him. And this is Robert, he's 10. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. You can collect the boys later. Okay, boys, down your seats now. Could I have your attention, boys? First of all, my name is Brother Ryan, and I hope we can all be friends. This is a special class of boys whose parents are concerned with the religious and general education of their children. It will be a short time for most of you, and I hope to help you to be able to read and write and say your prayers, in order to prepare for your first confession, communion, and confirmation. Okay, boys, follow me in a prayer. In Adam, I was in Vic, I was in Spirit, Nave, Amen. Oh my God, I love you. Oh my God, I love you. My whole desire is to please you. My whole desire is to please you. I will do this for your glory. I will do this for your glory. Alright, we'll go out to play about 20 minutes and we'll have a tea now. Boys, what's school like today? Great. What did you think of it, John? It's great. Learn about countries and prayers. What about you, Matt? I don't really like it. I'd rather stay away from it like you, Dyla.
Now boys, we all know that Jesus died on the cross in order to save our souls. It is because of this that we must accept our penance for the sins we commit. Penance is not a bad thing. It is essential in order for us to cleanse our souls, resist temptation, and to live our lives as good Christians. I'll see you all after school, okay? Bye. 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 Ma, come on, we'll be late for school. I'm not going to school. I'm sick and tired of telling Brother Ryan that you're sick and Ma's sick. I don't care what you're doing. I'm not going to school. Do I like wait? Okay, come on. Thomas Dillon. Here, Brian Dillon. Here, John Talbot. Here, Matthew Talbot. Come here, John. Why not? He's at home with Ma and one of the kids. I'll tell you what I think. Ma is a major, but he does not like school. No, boys, let's carry you some time. Come on, son, can I help you? Stay walk here this morning, mister. Well, come on, I'm going to see the boss. Well, how are you, Christy? Right, Talbot. We like our workers to come in early and do their work, and everything will be fine. Okay. O'Brien. Yes, Take this man to the yard and give him a brush. All right. God bless you. I better go, Jay. So, how was my big work one today? How'd you get on? Oh, it's great. I'm um, packing Kenneth's boxes in the crates and cleaning up the warehouse. You're not touching any of that beer, are you? No, don't be silly. I wouldn't buy one there, that's it. Because no. you know it's a dream and drink is when I get hold of you. Oh, there's my. Well, Ma, how was work today? I suppose you got loads of money and plenty of drink. First of all, you only get six shillings a week, and if you get caught drinking, you lose your job. I'd love a job like that. I drink all day. Come on, Ma. Can we have an elbow in there? No. Because you're a woman, aren't you? 
I'm just going to do it all the time. You're too young, you're only 13.